four teams now. When is it going to go to eight? When is it going to go to 12? They're going to make that jump between four and 12. We live on planet Earth. When you want to make the money back that a lot of programs lost last year because of the pandemic, you're going to do that. But, Key, I'm going to start with you. If in, in my perfect world, I keep it at four. But I think six is the right number. Raise it, man. Expanding. What do Take you think? that thing to 12. Or, Raise why? it. Because I, it's just it gives some of the smaller programs an opportunity to play some of the bigger programs and upset them. All of those. It's just... It's just magic with that. I love watching the I love watching the Sweet 16, for instance, in basketball, seeing the Cinderella stories. You know, when you get an opportunity to have like again, you get an opportunity to have a smaller school like a Boise State all of a sudden play at Alabama. And everybody say they don't have a chance in the world. And now you got the 12 versus the one, and then bam, then all of a sudden Alabama's out. You know, I want to see that. I really do. I want to see it, too, but I think we're a little bit a ways from that happening. And, and, and here's why. I, I really do. What, what appeared to be a simple approval process for this college football playoffs to be expanded now seems to be muddled in There's distrust in college football. and <laughs> anger and yeah. jealousy with watching the way Texas and Oklahoma then went to the Super Conference, now what they're calling it inside the hallways, right, to the SEC – I think it makes the relationship between the conferences really challenging. Even even what you heard the other day, right? Thinking about UCF, BYU, Cincinnati, Houston, trying to go to the Big 12, I think it makes it convoluted. Now, I, I think there's so much more. Um, now, 17 games, how do people feel about that? Mm -hmm. You know, Is there going to be the same kind of objectivity for everybody considering the power schools that will be in the SEC? I think it makes it way more challenging for all these commissioners to get on the same page about doing something in the best interest for the sport because their individual interests are so at stake. But that's fine. The individual, yeah. the individual uh, aspects of things will help the universities as well as sport. It, it, it will. It, it's going to happen at some point in time. There's always some back and forth, some political there's some board members that don't want to do something. Some boosters don't want to do it. Coaches don't want to do it. Presidents don't want to do it. Then in the end, they all figure out how to get it done because it's the right thing to do. I hear you, Key. I just, I just wonder what's going to happen with college football, seeing how these conferences are becoming their own leagues. Mm -hmm. and, and that's how it feels. So, you know, like, does it is it in the league's best interest when they have all the schools, or does it make sense for them to do something on their own? I, I don't know where we're going. I, I would like for it to go there, but I don't know how I see all these leagues working together when leagues are becoming so powerful. Well, you know why, Jay and Key? Because the leagues don't know where they're going. Because they everybody's don't. trying to follow the SEC. Because not for nothing, the alliance, that is the worst prenup ever. We're going to have a contract but not have a contract because the SEC has Texas and Oklahoma. And let's be honest, guys. They're going to have a 12-team playoff, but they don't want the little dudes in the Lakeishan. They don't want UCF. They don't want none of those schools. I do, though. I, I know you I do. I want to but, see but, but, UCF play bring USC. Money. Exactly. doesn't generate Key, revenue. Key, you're no, exactly it right. it will generate revenue. It yeah. absolutely yeah. will generate it, revenue. It, it, it will generate revenue, but they want the revenue to stay with them. They don't want the revenue to go to the little schools. They don't want a Northeast Conference, a Patriot League team, infiltrating in the national championship. The big boys want to keep the big noise and keep the big money with themselves. That's why Texas and Oklahoma, those have never been frenemies. They became frenemies because they wanted more money that they were going to get from the SEC. When you have that kind of structure in our college football, Key and Jay, it's all about what can we do to keep the money with us as big schools and leave the small schools out of it unless we're going to schedule them as a part of our schedule. Think, think, about, think about the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for a small school to get into the tournament. There's right? no doubt. They get into the tournament and – you know, you say that it's not a money maker. No, it is because that alumni group, whatever that is, that 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 small school that has however many thousands of alums, all of a sudden this is a once in a lifetime opportunity for them to go watch their beloved program play a powerhouse and upset a powerhouse. Think back, to Freddie Coleman. I don't know, 20 years ago when Appalachian State went up to Ann Arbor, 2007. Michigan, I remember and beat Michigan. Mm -hmm. It, it beat Michigan. Everybody was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And, and so that's what I want to see. I want to see it. I just I want to see that that Cincinnati take on a Florida and pop them. Or I want to see that Memphis come to USC when USC is undefeated 
and give them a run for their money. Like, I really want to see it. You notice I didn't say beat us. I said a run for the money. Oh, I heard the detail on that. I heard it. It's just college basketball and college football are so different. Uh, you know, when you look at college basketball now with all these professional leagues, you can go play overseas. You got entities like Overtime Elite. You got the G League that is really booming. So... Look, college basketball kind of has that issue where the talent is so dispersed. You have older teams that can beat these younger teams that are full with one and dones. Whereas football, you feel like the little guys, as much as you say, I want to see them have the opportunity to, like, what are the chances that they actually do beat the powerhouse schools? Considering, look at what Alabama and Clemson and these schools are, are recruiting. Man, you know? Jay, uh, Notre Dame lost. Notre Dame lost. No, Oklahoma lost to Boise State several years ago in the Fiesta Bowl. Okay, Oregon State popped Notre Dame several years ago in the Fiesta Bowl. And I would consider Oregon State, even though they're in a Pac-12 conference, I would consider them a small school because that, that's a that's a six, seven win program at best. And if you go seven wins at Oregon State, you get a 50 year contract extension. So <laughs> it's right. one of those type of I would I would like to see that. I would like to see one of those type of programs be able to play the big boys. Now, whether or not they can do it on a consistent basis. Who knows? I remember when TCU, TCU pounded USC in a bowl game. That was like, oh my God, I couldn't believe that. No one could believe it. So it happens. I mean, you start getting to the top. If you start doing top twelve, I, I can see that. It's, I can see that happening. Yeah, I can see it happening. But here in a in a college football world, they are never ever going to allow that to happen. That's why the Big Twelve, the Big Twelve, has no choice but to poach the AAC. Because yes. if they don't, they're going to cease to be a league in five to eight years. And so they want to make sure that whatever we do, they protected their interests, we're going to protect ours. And, Key, you noticed. You played at a big school. Jay, you noticed. You played at a big school. Big schools are going to protect themselves in their conferences. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.